It's me, Erica, again, and I am about to unbox a complete set of 52 Toys Sleep Sea Elves. I got this as a gift to myself uh, for hard work done over the summer, helping my friend make items for her Ren Faire booth. So this was my personal prize to myself. It is in its original sealed packaging. I got this on sale from, I get my blind boxes from a lot of different places, but this one in particular, oh, this plastic is tight. Uh, this one in particular, I bought on sale from Kika Goods, which is an online blind box store that carries some of the rarer ones and ships very quickly to the United States. They are awesome. So here we go. Still has the factory seal. This is what you would, I guess you would buy these wholesale and put them up in your shop. Here's all the beautiful ladies we can get. I only buy complete set, sets like this when I truly will be happy with every single item in the box. Otherwise, it's not worth it to spend $100 or $200 or $300 on a complete set of these if you are just gonna, if you are really only looking for one, just spend $60 and get the exact one that you want. However, the two mystery ones are incredible. They're incredibly beautiful. So I would love to get one of those, but if I don't, that is okay. So you would get this and put it up in your retail shop uh, as a display. So we will cut this. Anyone who's ever faced shelves, as it's called, or worked in retail will know exactly what these do and are like. Getting them apart nicely is the hard part. And I want it to at least look nice for our video, even if I don't save her. So you usually fold it, excuse the mess, and tuck this inside, thusly. And that makes the little backboard for your line boxes. Oh, I messed up the box, but that's okay. There we go. Now you get the idea. And then you would put these and either fold them down. Usually they're perforated. Yep, perforated. So you rip off the perforations. And then you have this beautiful little stand to put in your shop with the sleep elves. So pretty. I find that uh, 52 Toys has really, really, really really incredible stuff. Oh, looks like this is perforated too. So you can show off the front of the box as well. Oh, it comes all the way from the side. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 I see how you're doing it now. I'm botching it, but I can see it. There we go. Ah, so pretty. So pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, I've just absolutely obliterated this box. I am a clunky-handed badger woman. I am not meant for the delicacies of Japanese displays. China? Japanese? I'm not sure. Honestly, I, I don't know. I want to say 52 Toys is also Korean, but I could be 100% wrong. Okay, look at these gorgeous gorgeous boxes which one should we do first they're all so beautiful i just uh, i just love these i hope that they are as gorgeous in person as they were in the ads okay i'm trying to get the camera here so you can see but also not nope not gonna not a good time for kitty cats thank you so that you can see there we go. This whole camera rig is a little hairy. Okay, rip tab, go. We got a good rip, check. Oh, who are we gonna get? 
So they pop apart like this so that it's really hard to put them back together and make it look like they haven't been tampered with. So it's hard to tell, or it's easy to tell if someone has peeked and already opened your, your product. <gasps> Who is she? Which elf is it? Oh my gosh, these are just so pretty. Oh, and the card is holographic. Look. You can see the ocean moving behind her. Oh, these are so cool. I'm so glad I got myself this one. No, no information on who she is. I don't see any English. I guess we'll guess when she comes out. <laughs> oh, I think she's seaweed. Oh, okay. We have a, oh, there's our authenticity and or perhaps like a reward code. I have not experienced that in a blind box before, so that is new to me. We'll explore that later. And here she is. Let me get closer. And they're all just supposed to be sleeping. They did a sleep sky elves. They did a sleep um, forest elves where they were all sleeping under mushrooms and stuff. Oh, these are just so impossibly beautiful. I don't know how they can possibly make these for the cost. Oh, look at her. And she's got a little collar on, to, it looks like, to protect her. Oh, from her seaweeds from sticking. Okay. So sometimes when they put them away, the plastic will react if it's in heat, etc. So they'll put little separator plastic so that the plastic won't stick itself. Look at the detail. Look at how beautiful she is. Thank you, Magnus. I'm glad you approve. There's these wonderful little water droplets. She's got a big bubble in her hair. The ombre on her hair is incredible. She's naked. No butts. Just naked. But all these are flexible. They're not attached to her. So I, you can only imagine, like, they're painting these and then having to put them on one by one onto these figures and gluing them in place and shrouding the little fairies in their little sleep spots. And all of these are movable. They're all detached. You can look at her from every angle. Oh, these are just gorgeous. I don't know how anyone couldn't just want a thousand of these because they are just impossibly beautiful. Okay, I think that was our seaweed girl. So we'll put her with herself. Who's next? I would be so happy if we got a rare one, but I would be so happy if we just got the regular ones. I am an ocean lover. I took uh, several years of marine ecology in college and high school. Um, so I have an affinity for the sea. Who is in here? Ooh, I don't know. This might be the jellyfish girl. I want to say there's a jellyfish girl. So here's her card. Yeah, she's looking. She might be the sea angel, which are those little floating around kind of tunicate creatures. Might be that. But there's her card. So pretty. Put that over here. And more of that. And here she is. Oh, I think she is the sea angel. There's a little creature called a sea angel that floats around and it looks kind of like an angel, I guess, but not enough like an angel for me to call it that. Oh my goodness, look. Look at how beautiful. Oh, I can't stand it. They're just too gorgeous. I need to own all of these. Again, she has her little plastic wrapper. This could be jellyfish. I think this might be jellyfish. It's either jellyfish or a sea angel. But look at her. Look at the detail on the little toes. The painting is so crisp. There is not a single defect on these. Oh my goodness. And look, her actual, it's just like encasing her whole body. Oh yeah, definitely mushroom. Look at the back. Or not mushroom, uh, jellyfish. 
Her hair is in little tentacles. The detail. And it's not a dumb hairstyle. Like, her hair looks gorgeous in the front. Her little... Just the amount of dynamic poses. Like, it's changing so many planes and shifting. Ugh. The ombre on the shells. They are just beautiful. Ugh, 52 toys. You can... Take my money. Just take my wallet. You're killing me with these. Oh my gosh. I am in love with the ombre. These are everything. Ugh. I love them. Oh, our little ladies. Oh, I love them. Okay. We're ready for another box. Box number three. Back right corner. Here is the box. I suppose I could have looked at one of the small boxes with you, which I realize now I have not done. Look at the fishy. Mm, so cute. There's our sleep elf. Here's the ones you can get. So, so far we have seaweed and... The sea angel up here, I think. Maybe that one's jelly. No, that's sea anemone. Okay. Okay. Sorry about the cat. He feels like he's not getting to participate. Unboxing is not his favorite activity, as you can see. Who did we get? Who did we get? Oh, it's the clam! It's our one from the front page. And her little fishes swim on her car. Look at him go. Ugh, I love, they just, it's so much work. How are they doing this for flapping $8 each? I don't understand it. That's about how much I paid for these because they were on clearance sale. Like, I don't, these are art. These are just pure artwork. Ugh. They're just, it's too much. It's too much. I can't stand it. It's too beautiful. It has to not exist. It's like when you get cute rage. It's just too much. It's too beautiful. Okay, I'm extricating this from her very extensive hairstyling. I just cannot imagine painting all these tiny pieces and assembling this. My God. Oh my goodness, it's painted just like in every nook and cranny. Their toes are shaded. The fingertips are shaded. Her lashes are 3D. Look, you can see them protruding from her head. The tiny shading. Ugh. Look at this ombre and her little pointy ears. She even has earrings in. That or those are her hair bobbles. Those are her hair bobbles. But she has incredible little elf ears. And all of these, again, they're completely movable. They're, it's just so dynamic. There's so much natural motion in these. Like, they truly are under the ocean. There's, the design work is incredible. If they invented a game that looked like that, I would pay it. And I would pay to play forever and ever. Okay, that was number three back middle box let's see I wonder if we will get lucky I've never actually um, opened I don't think I've opened enough full complete sets of blind boxes to know whether or not it's that uncommon on these expensive blind boxes to get uh, the rares so I don't know how rare that is A foof packet chuck that Oh, it looks like we got our sea anemone. And look, her hair moves. And so does her star. And it looks like some seaweed moving down here in the back as well. Ugh, so pretty. Here, sit with your sister. Another one of those. No idea what that is. Let me figure that out. I doubt, like, are they going to really send me something in America if I win a prize? That doesn't seem likely. Okay. Oh, it is. It's the sea anemone. Ugh. 
It's too beautiful. It's just not fair to other toys. It's not fair to other toys. No! <laughs> they really do all kind of look like sisters of a similar species of fairy. Like maybe they just have different likes and dislikes beneath the sea and they style themselves accordingly to where they like to sleep. The anemone tentacles are all soft. Even the one the, gold, the clownfish is on. She's sitting on another anemone, which is adorable. She's sitting on like a carpet anemone. She is surrounded by tentacles. Her hair is very tentacle-like and is just breaking every sort of 3D movement boundary. The bubbles on here, just... It's got so much natural life to it. What an incredible sculpt. 52 toys. I am going to have to look up who is sculpting these sleep elves for you because, man, what a talented human being to make such beautiful, beautiful objects that are, quote, toys. I'm sorry. This is art and it is dopamine for my house. Only four more of our pretty ladies. And that's our box. Here's how we're doing. That's an empty one. Oh good, the cat's come and he's above me instead of being next to me. He's climbed the ramp and he is now lurking like a gargoyle. It's really not conducive to work. Okay, here comes number five. I think the only two blind boxes I've ever done a full case like this is this one, one, and the APO frogs, which I split with a friend. And on both of those, neither, so far on this one, I haven't gotten a rare. And on that one, I didn't either. So we're going to slide it. Who's in here? Hello. Mother Fluff. Ooh. Who are you? Do we know who you are? Oh, maybe she's the wave. I'm thinking she might be this wave one. Amazing. Let's see another thing. I do not love the amount of trash that these make. Most don't make this much trash. These obviously have to be packaged in a super protective case. So it makes sense. But in general, bl the blind box waste is not, not ideal. So I try to reuse stuff and I'll reuse these plastic bags to ship things in. And oh, look at these. Look at these. They're just too beautiful. Now, if I had to pick a favorite or a least favorite, so far, she is not my most favorite. Although the amazing motion that they're putting into these is awesome. She's got this like little water swooshes all over. A little less ombre on this one. A little less work in general, I feel like, just on the paint, but... I imagine that molding clear things like this in such a dynamic shape that you have to glue on is probably where most of the budget is going on this figure. Uh, that's kind of how things are priced in general in the retail world. If you're making a set, you want things to average to a certain price. So you're willing to spend more on some figures and less on others, uh, depending on the, the amount of fanciness you want to put in but also you can balance it out so for instance it might be a much more difficult assembly to assemble this one obviously than this one where there's many less pieces to glue so this just might have been the most affordable build of the group but it's still just gorgeous she still has every single one has different colored lashes they're not all the same they match their theme they are just incredible. This one even has a little bit less sheeting on the toes. Okay, there's our wave girl. Down to the last three. Still no rares, but I'm still very happy because I wanted all of these, rare or not. I still would like the rare one, but you know, they are beautiful. And let's see. Gotta scoot this back. And... <gasps> Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's the mermaid. Wonderful. It looks like she's got some like moving fishes and her tail 
and her hair move a little bit. Let's see. Oh, look at the color. I'm crazy. I am absolutely obsessed. I am so glad I got this set. I am so glad I got it on sale because it was like they were $18 each when they first came out, which was not going to happen. I love myself, but not that much. Oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. Let me get your plastic off and then you'll focus better. Okay, here we go. Look at her. She has the most detail on her body for sure. Mostly because she has a tail and not feet. And she's also wearing a bra, unlike everybody else. She's got one, two, three, at least three or four colors in her hair. Her tail has at least two colors. She's got these awesome little bubbles all around. Wow. These are just so pretty. Oh, I am just so happy I bought these. Mermaid, also gorgeous, super pretty paint job. She's got a little, oop, can you see, clamshell with pearls in her hair. Still has the 3D lashes. Amazing. Getting down to the last two. Okay, hey, last two. Had to pause because the entire rig flew off in my hands and I managed to not freak out and panic verbally or otherwise while that was happening. So congratulations to me for not dying as my entire camera rig flew off into my face at the last cut. Okay, last two. Will we get a rare? Probably not, but that's okay because we love them all. Let's see who is in here. Oh, I can get the card out without sneaking. Oh, look how pretty. Focus. This one I'm thinking is the sea angel. Yes, it has the little horns. See these little horns? That's on the actual deep sea sea angel, actual sea creature. So Google that and you will know what I'm talking about. So this is our sea angel. Oh yeah, look at our little horns. They stand out so much more than in the picture. Oh my goodness, all of this shenanigans. Oh goodness, she's maybe even more beautiful than the last. Oh, look at her wings. Okay, it was hard to tell in the picture. Very easy to tell in the down position who she is. She's very clearly no bean, bad cat. Sorry, I have a, another errant cat trying to sneak into the office where she knows she's not allowed because I'm filming. Okay, here is our beautiful sea angel. She's sitting on bubbles. Sea angels do not ever come in contact with the ocean floor. They float around pelagically their entire lives and smoosh and moosh around. So it makes sense that she's not on a rock or affixed to something because she would just be smooshing around in the ocean. She is translucent just like a sea angel would be. Sorry, had to pause for a cat emergency. Okay, so here's our beautiful girl. She's got her 3D lashes. You can see her hair. Oop, try to get it to focus. You can see her hair through the back, but they've made her head mostly translucent. Oh, that's a little creepy. You can see the back of her face right there. That's a little creepy. That's okay. We love her. And her little touche and the little bubbles. Ugh. Gosh, these are just so nice. I am so happy that I got these. They are just precious. Okay, last sister. Wish us luck. Last one. Open it up. And again, I'll be so happy even if I just get every normal that they have because these are just so gorgeous. And who did we get? I believe this is the Leafy Sea Dragon. So we got all normals, not the two rares, but that is totally okay. Gosh, these are so pretty. So this should be our Leafy Sea Dragon, which is like the uh, free swimming version of a seahorse. 
If you've never seen one, you should visit your local aquarium. They are extremely cool. And here we go. Our last little lady. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at She has the ridges down her back. Oh, these are so good. I will never, ever be unhappy with these. Okay, so here is our leafy sea dragon, or weedy sea dragon, depends on who you ask. She's got her long tail with all her little frilly bits, just like they would have. Here's her seaweed that she is mimicking. Some kind of encrusting sponge, perhaps. And look, even her back has the little dorsal fins. She's, her hair is made to look like she's got the little ridges on it, just like an, a real leafy sea dragon or weedy sea dragon. Ugh, look at these. There's her 3D lashes and a really dark green. The ombre and pearlescent. This one is pearlescent compared to the other ones. I think the only other one with pearlescence was the clam's hair. Well, I hope that you enjoyed these beautiful little ladies as much as I did. I just, I cannot believe the detail on these. They are just beautiful. These are by 52 Toys. This is the Sleep Sea Elf series. They also make a Sleep Forest Elf and a Sleep Sky Elf. But I just was obsessed with the ocean ones and I am so glad I got them because they are they exceed all expectations so thank you so much and I will do a little review shot with pretty pictures of the girls here and I hope you tune in to watch me unbox more stuff next time please remember to like and subscribe it helps me out a lot I'm just a little artist person trying to make it in the world so if you like watching me unbox stuff and chatting with me please follow or join us uh, with my sewing group. All the links are in the description box below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!